Hey yo, what's poppin'? Party people, I'm that one dude, Chris from YouTube, and welcome back to Ravenous Devils. Today we have here Hildred and Batman. I still cannot remember his name. I know it starts with a P or something, but I can't remember what his name is. So for the time being, we're gonna call him Batman because he he sounds like Batman. In the last video, we discovered who our Ravenous Devils are. They own a tailoring slash restaurant shop where this guy will bring in guests, he will tailor them, and then take their clothes to then re-sew, resell, and the bodies are going down here so that she can make food out of the... It's a wild game. If, if you're new and you haven't seen the first video, go check that out, because this game is insane. Now, with that all out of the way, we can now begin our day. Bars! Oh my god! Open shop. One thing that I learned is that people are going to go, people are going to come in really quick. So I need to do one action with Perds, Perds, per, it starts with a P, what is his name? I need to do one action with Batman and then go down, do one action with Hildred, come back up, one action, and then one action. So that way it's kind of like a constant flow and it just moves really well. So look, look at that, he took that. So now I'm going to come over here, place that there. This is a masterpiece. Homegirl's going to come in to get fitted. That's already going to be on the sewing machine. Two people are coming in, but we have a second display. So just, just trust me on this, right? Trust me on this because I, I have the perfect strategy to make this all work. And it really helps to have two, uh, two workbenches and two displays. Because like I said in the last video, people come in really quickly looking for food. So it goes out super fast. So it's nice to keep an eye on what's happening. One of the things that I want to do when I do manage to get enough money for a significant like food upgrade, I want to get I want to get a new food item because I know that different types of foods will have different prices. And right now the pies are doing fine. As they are but it's not enough because I'm only making let's say like 35 by the end of the day and I'm gonna need way more than that if I want to get some really good upgrades uh, last clients last clients are coming through as fast as I can as fast as I can <laughs> all right they're done Hello, pretty lady. Am I going to kill you? Only time will tell. These scissors aren't just for cutting fabric. Good morning. Oh, wait, hold on. No, no, no. What, what kind of voice should I give her? It doesn't really matter because she's just an NPC. Good morning, Mr. Percival. Am I too early? The shop still needs, still seems to be closed. Good morning. Not at all, Lady Ellis. Ellis. Elliswin. Please do come in. Were you in need of a new dress? Yes, I have an appointment. I hate her voice. Please, be my guest. Go in front of the mirror. I'll be right there in a moment. Oh, she's gonna die. We're gonna kill her! Check yourself out. This must be the place. That trap door. Those clothes. Oh my god! Everything Jack told me was true! Should I tell him anything? I don't know how he'll react. I'm here for one reason. I won't mess this up. Here I am. Let's get to work. Um, I was thinking something delicate. Maybe in light blue tones? Is this dress for a special occasion? If you don't mind me asking. Uh funeral well then I, if i may offer my opinion you're gonna need something fancier for your funeral i'm not sure light blue is particularly suitable for a funeral it won't matter in fact i don't think anyone will say anything to me i will be the one laying in the coffin damn you know all too well goodbye what do you mean 
I'm dying, and there's nothing that can be done. I'm re already roaming this world like a ghost. I would kill myself, but I'm not brave enough to do such a thing. If only someone could free me from this burden! Is asking to die without suffering too much? But maybe. Hi! Oh, wait, 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 this is our wife, this is our wife. Hi, I'm sorry, but I need to interrupt you, Percival. Percival! That was his name! I'm probably gonna forget that, because it's such a unique name. Never heard or seen anybody's name. Per Percival? Percy Jackson. I have something to show you downstairs. I'm working, Hildred. Please, Percival! You need to come with me. I'm sure you can set another appointment for the lady. You were just starting, anyway. Maybe it was a mistake coming here. I'm so sorry! I have to go now. Sorry for wasting your time. <laughs> Was she alright? Did you traumatize her somehow? I haven't touched her. She said that she was dying from a disease. Poor soul. Anyway. Oh, anyway. What's so important? Let's go. I'll show you. I thought maybe she knew that the lady was trying to set us up, and she was going to stop us before we could kill her. Unless that is the case. So, do you like it? What? Don't you notice anything new, silly goose? Hmm. No. Look up there. I put some flowers. Oh. I see. Waste of my fucking time. I decided to put some decorations in here. Customers will appreciate it. Now they have something to look at while they wait. But hopefully they won't have to wait too long because I'm gonna keep the displays nice and full. They're not gonna have to wait. We're gonna be fastest service in town. Do you like it? It's a good start. But you definitely need something more. Did you seriously interrupt me for this? Yes, this is really important. We'll make customers happier. Fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Go back to killing. Apparently, that's the only thing you enjoy. Not the only one. Hey, they're about to get frisky with the dead bodies. That is a sentence I never thought I was going to say. This game is probably going to be the first series in on the channel. That will have me saying some wild shit the entire time. Every every playthrough. Do I have enough to buy food? Steak is 50. Sausage is 35. How much would a how much how much How much are we talking for some sausage? New recipe unlocked. And that recipe being sausage. Okay, so how do I how do I make it? Oh! Huh? Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, okay, wait. I'm figuring it out. So if I put the body in here, that should make sausage, right? I should clean this from time to time. Oh! 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 I don't think I want hot dogs anymore. Oh. No. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. You are bugging. But we do what we have to do in order to feed our family. It's kind of crazy because Hildred has so much more to do than Percival. And it's like a little frustrating <laughs> because all I have to do is make sure that Percival kills, cleans up, and puts the body through the trap door and then sews. Hildred, I have to make sure that I have both displays full. I have to make sure that I'm making the different kinds of meals. I have two plates. It's soon to be three ovens. I mean, not soon to be, but like at some point I'll have three ovens, three workbenches. It, she's got a lot of shit to do. And all Percival has to do, at the moment at least, I don't know how many, let me see, let me look at my upgrades. How many uh, mannequins can I have? Four mannequins. So that's still, less than what Hildred has to do. 
and with these new recipes it'll be a nice addition I, i'm excited to see how much these new recipes are gonna go for yeah okay all right i think we're ready for the day i think i'm hyped i think we're ready for the day i want to know at what point in the game the uh the greenhouse comes into play because i'm pretty sure this third level up here is where the greenhouse is but at what point will we be selling flowers and what does killing people have to do with any kind of pottery Thank you for shopping at that one tailor shop, where we give you clothes finer than your spouse. Thank you for shopping at that one food mart, where we give you food that will satisfy you more than your spouse. Hey, hey, the real ones know where that's from. The real ones know. Oh, okay. It went for $1.65, or I guess a pound 65. I keep forgetting that I'm not, I'm not in America. Stupid fucking Americans. Not everything's all about you. Uh, we've already made 10. No, well, I say that like that's significant, but it's really not that big of a deal. I don't know. Maybe it'll make a difference. I uh, I don't really feel good about this first day with the new uh, the new food. We only made 26, 25. Well, our last clients are coming in, so we may end up making more. But I think... Time. I think if I start the day selling, ah, because is there any real reason to sell anything other than the new items on the menu? Because it goes for a little bit more. But it, okay, whatever. We're getting this place fixed up though. It's a, it's a bit of a fixer upper, but we're making it good. Uh oh, uh oh, I don't want to kill kids. Help me, please! Have you seen my parents? My mother, my mother! I can't find my mother! Ow, oh, she probably went to go get some milk with your father. She's fine. What's wrong, little one? Um, my mom, yeah. <laughs> my mom left yesterday because she needed to patch her coat, but she never came back. Hmm. My husband certainly didn't see her. Maybe something happened to her before she got here. Those are these are strange times, my little boy. It's dangerous to be walking around the city alone. Now come on, get out of here. I need to open up shop soon. But madam, please! I'm really hungry. Don't you have anything to give me? Alright. I think I have some leftovers. They just so happen to taste like your mom. <laughs> yeah, this is wild. Thank you so much, madam. You are an angel. Goodbye. Have fun tasting your mother! And even today, I'm sure of a place in heaven. No, 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 no. You have completely lost your place in heaven. You are going to hell and back, and then to hell again. My dear colleagues, as I already mentioned in a previous letter, I have been observing your steps for a long time. And to be honest, you're in you intrigued me even before arriving here at Hilter blue lake hither blue lake when it comes to food there is no place unknown to me this is how i knew you had a little shop in merseyside where you made a lot of money unfortunately something went wrong at some point along the way and the local competition accused you of selling rat meat damaging your business reputation or damaging your business reputation business's reputation i remember seeing the news on all the local papers and i knew that it would be it would be it would not be long before the authorities launched an investigation, then suddenly a fire. I do wonder which one of you came up with that brilliant idea. Your previous shop turned to rubble, nothing left besides ashes and two. Unrecognizable corpses wearing the owner's clothes. They thought you were dead, but I suppose by the time all this happened, you had already boarded your train. Brilliant! I must confess that I almost fell for it too. Later, a mysterious couple, priding themselves on offering the best meat pies in town, opened up a shop in Southfolk. Many of my friends had said that you could enjoy, you could even enjoy the pleasant company of a landlady, a beautiful woman. It could all have been just one big coincidence. Two different couples in two different places, and there would have been nothing odd about any of it, but something did not quite add up to me. My suspicions were confirmed when the shop in Southfolk closed down. You were spotted leaving in a hurry with very little luggage. 
Did someone uncover your secret? And here are and here we are now in Hither Blue Lake. The same story. A foreign couple cooking delicious food. I did my research in an attempt to see things crystal clear once and for all. And as I observed you, I was not surprised to notice that not all of this, not all of the customers who entered your shop also left. I do not blame you for your practices. After all, it's hard to find high quality meat these days. So with that being said, right, people are clearly noticing that their family members are going missing and that, you know, the town's population is kind of running low. Is this not a concern to anyone? Is anybody going to say anything about this? Are we going to... Are we going to, like, bring something up to somebody? Like, hey, it's been a couple days since my mom was here. Um, you guys, you guys want to do an investigation? Because then, you know, if somebody doesn't say anything about the missing persons, at some point, the town's population is going to get so small that they don't have any more customers to bring into the store. Am I the only one who's thinking logic? Maybe I shouldn't question it too much. Maybe I shouldn't think too deeply into the game. It is just a video game. And the idea of cannibals opening up a shop and a tailoring service is absolutely mind-blowing and totally not possible at all. Right? Right? I'd say I'm doing pretty good both money-wise and uh, and as far as like my time management. I'm, I'm doing the damn thing and people aren't understanding that I'm him. It's so simple. I spent when i was doing my upgrades i spent money on some decorations or, or a decoration um if you buy decorative flowers it can increase the customer's wait time so that helps but it doesn't seem like i'm really gonna need it much because i i'm him i don't know what to tell you i keep my displays i keep my displays full All right. with that being said though i don't know what i want my next upgrade to be so I'm obviously going to have some money to get a pretty decent upgrade. We haven't even gotten to our last clients yet, and I'm already almost at 40 pounds. Would I be wrong to just call it dollars from now? <laughs> Is that very American of me? Eh, forget what it's actually called. Just call it dollars. Move on with my day. As fast as I can. We are now on our last clients, and we're about to hit the 40 pound mark. Yes, sir! We're making money moves. This is the father to that little boy. I'm, I'm calling it. His dad's not going to come home either. Hell yeah. Let's go. I'm moving along quite well with the story. Oh, that's the guy. That's our guy. That's a fancy dude. It's about time. I'm going inside. You wait here for. Don't try to run away. People are disappointed. Di disappointing. People are disappearing in this neighborhood. If I were you, I wouldn't stray too far. All right, Mr. Elliot. I'll wait right here for you. Welcome back, Mr. Elliot. I've been waiting for you. Hello, Percival. Please take your front. Take your place in front of the mirror. I like people who don't waste any time. I'm leaving in a few days, my friend. This time I'm heading to a dangerous place full of wild beasts. I will need my best rifle. They called, they could pounce on me before I even notice. Ravenous and wonderful creatures. I prefer them hanging over my fireplace, though. I'm sure you understand my meaning, Percival. Yes. Yes, I understand. I always used to hunt for a living. But I don't like rifles. I prefer to wait for my prey to fall into my traps. I like fly like flies in a spider web. And then stab them to death. I would have never guessed. I thought you had always worked as a tailor. This is something that I would usually keep to myself. Though it seems secrets don't remain such for long in this city. By the way, maybe you happen to know something know someone who goes by the moniker of Mr. J, since you are such a well-known figure in town. That's an obvious question. My reputation precedes me wherever I go. Precedes? Yeah. 
Of course, I know some people whose names start with a J, but the list would run many pages. Think about it, someone who hates you, or who you don't get along with. I'm a beloved person, Percival. I'm bothering, you're bothering me with this story. Might someone want you dead for any reason? Enough of this nonsense. It was a mistake to come to this dump. As always, good manners, oh, sorry. As always, good manners get you nowhere. Luckily, I find you as annoying as hell. Ah! Oh, shit! Oh, he fights back! Percival, get up! Get him! Ah! Ah! I'm sorry you made me do it! If you had just stayed still, it wouldn't have had to come to this! <sighs> He was really getting on my nerves. We shouldn't have come here. This so-called Mr. J better have a good reward for us. Now I need to find a place to hide this bastard's corpse. A cold one. This is the coldest room in the house. Oh my god. The flesh will be preserved here. Preserved better here. Okay! So that happened. Oh shit. What are you doing here? Um, good morning, sir. Sorry to bother you. Do you happen to know where Mr. Elliot has gone? He told me to wait outside. But I went inside the pub downstairs for a moment. There was a great smell coming from there, and I was rather hungry. Then, the good lady gave me a pie. It was rather delicious. But I don't have any money on me. So, um, I was looking for Mr. Elliot, but I can't find him. Has he left the shop already? Yes, several minutes ago. He said, fuck you, I'm finding me a new servant. Oh, really? Did he mention anything about where he was going? I can't pay for the pie otherwise. He didn't tell me anything. I'm sure he will come back to get you, kid. And don't worry about the pie. Let's just say it's on the house this time. Oh, thank you, mister. You're such a kind man. I don't think Mr. Elliot is coming back, though. He's probably angry because I disobeyed him. He bought me, and I can't be replaced anytime. Well then, find yourself another job. You won't last long without any money in this city. Not everyone is as generous as I am. Can I help here? I'm a fast learner. I'll think about it, kid. I'll get back to you. Thank you very much. Hey! I don't know how I feel about having him working in the shop. Hildred may need a help, maybe need a little help in the pub. Okay. All right, take Elliot's measurements. Got it. Cool. Moving on now. We have 43 pounds. So, what can I buy? What's something I should buy? I don't have enough for steak yet, but best believe when I can make steak, it's over. <laughs> it's over. I could buy another workbench and still have some money. Ooh, another oven, too. Ugh. Oh, shit! Look at that! It costs 70 pounds to hire an attendant? Oh. Oh. I feel like I should save my money then, but I need... I don't know exactly what the tables do. I assume that it would just add decor for the pub. But... Right now, I want to get a second oven because I feel like that's going to be super useful. Or, no, I... Let's save our money. Let's save our money so that we can get an attendant. I think that would be the best option is just to save the money. Again, I still don't know how I feel about having somebody who was like bought as a servant now working in my pub because then it just feels like i've bought him off of i don't feel great about it but you know what we're playing a game where we're literally turning people into pies and sausages so this is just where we're at in 2020 <laughs> top is all set prepared we are ready moving there i do not like how he's just hanging around me <laughs> Just hanging around. I feel like the FBI is going to flag me for playing this game too often. 
it helps too that you can kind of like double click on things to proceed to the next action uh like let me show you so when i i don't need to put that there right now but I i'll show you when the time comes like when somebody comes in and I, you know, I go to tailor them, take their measurements, and then I kill them. I can then click on the body. While he's picking up the body, I can click on the trap door so that it automatically takes the body to the trap door. Because if I don't, then it just sits there. I don't know if that makes sense, but it makes sense to me. And it's really helpful when, it, when I can do that. All right, so look at this. We're taking the measurements for our unlucky soul. Hold on, wait. Are you coming to get measured or? Okay. So bop. You kill him. And then I click on the body, click on the trap door. And while he's undoing the clothes, he picks up the body and immediately goes to the trap door. Whereas if I didn't do that, it would just wait for me to click on the trap door after he's already lifted the body up. Just the way that it's structured, the way that the game allows me to smoothly move between different things helps keep the helps keep the flow going we were just shy of 70 pounds and that pisses me off i am so happy you managed to kill him i must confess that i was tempted to join you immediately to enjoy the dish then i held back thinking the banquet would be perf would be just perfect with all the victims i'm sure that this was wait that this waiting of mine will be rewarded my father used to say that patience is a fundamental virtue i never thought i would agree with him that old bastard was never a good father to me. He used to leave me alone with our servants, only, show only showering me with useless gifts, when all I really needed was him. When he died, I inherited his vast fortune, and I spent his money dil diligently. My dear friends, you would have never- you have been guests of honor at all of my parties, reveling with the richest people in town, delicious food, women, and music. Ah, the good old days. That was a long time ago, though. I was just a boy. Now my taste for celebration has quinted. Wait, we did, we did, why did something like that? It is a good thing to realize when it is time to calm down. P.S. How does it feel to take someone's life? It must be terrible. I would have, I would never be able to do such a thing. Well, considering it's a thing that we do all the time, I don't think we care all that much. I don't think it bothers us that much. I'm going to do something crazy and it's going to be purely experimental. I want to purchase steaks and see how much that's gonna go for because steaks in real life are expensive they cost you just about an arm and a leg which is kind of you know what's gonna be put into it <laughs> but i want to make steaks and then see how much they go for continuously make the steak the steak based meals and hopefully that'll get me to my 70 pounds so that i can get the attendant Let's let's see if this is a choice. This this was a good choice or not. I can no longer buy anything else. Got a new recipe. Oh, oh! Look at that. That's a three star meal right there. Nice. So we need we need minced meat. We need sausage and steak. And I have a table to make the steak now. There we go. Look at that. This is horrific. Oh no. Ow! Oh! It takes forever for her to chop up that steak and i'm sure that there's now an upgrade for me to the steak table yeah it produces more steak so that's gonna be an essential upgrade because while it made it's still gonna take her a while to produce the steak but at least when i'm chopping it up it's gonna do like if i had one left it would do a total of five maybe i don't know It'll add three or four. She's so smooth with it too. She like, shing! She didn't even, ugh. There was no hesitation there. She was so smooth about it. 
So the recipe for that, again, is the mincemeat, the steak, and the sausage. Because the steak takes so long to make, I don't think that I'm going to be making a whole bunch of uh, this three-course meal here. But it'll be more of like a, a two times in a day kind of thing. Maybe. I don't know. A second oven would be really nice. Three pounds and 35. Yo. That's money right there. That's money. There's absolutely nothing stopping me from making this several times in a day. I, yeah, I think that's the, the that's the way that I'm gonna go, for sure. Hey! Let's go! 54 pounds? Yeah, I I almost made back everything that I spent. All right, this is going to be the last upgrade that I make before I call it a video. Because while I didn't get my 70 back, I know for a fact that if I had either, either more displays, more tables, or another oven, I would definitely be able to make more money in a day. And I'm, I'm really thinking the oven. Either the oven or... Did I say tables? I, I still have no idea what the tables do. But I'm not going to worry about buying them right now. I'm going to go with another oven. I feel good about that decision. Hell yeah! Look at that! We got two ovens now. I haven't really touched up much on Percival's section. But that's because, like I said in the last video as well, not a whole lot of people come in as fast for the clothing as they do for the food. So that's not something that I'm worried too much about at the moment. All right, we are all done for the day. We're done for the video. We're all set for next time. I have my two ovens ready to serve the three-star meal. I think by next video, we should have the, uh, the attendant and then I also want to get some tables in here. Again, not sure what they do. I did take a look at the tomatoes. And I think the tomatoes are going to unlock the garden or the greenhouse. So I'm not going to unlock that just yet. Just so that there's not a whole lot on my plate that I really have to worry about while still trying to upgrade all this stuff. Because then after we unlock this, that's going to unlock all this. And then it's going to unlock all of this. And that's just too much for me. So I'm going to worry about all this stuff first upgrade the things that only take one upgrade move on and it's gonna be great i i'm really enjoying this game and i hope you are as well if you want to see my last video which was slay the spire i'll have that linked around here somewhere and if you want to see my last video of ravenous devils i'll have that linked around here somewhere as well i'm gonna get out of here i love you guys stay safe out there take it easy and big buddy out now if you'll excuse me i'm gonna go make some breakfast I haven't eaten all day.